All right. Again, I think Crisis Core, most of the bosses are just spongy, but this is a lot more, this is a lot better of a hard mode final boss. I mean, imagine on normal, he'd be a complete pushover. I don't think the length is the only thing of the problem with the bosses, by the way. In case anyone's wondering, like, oh, Nova just thinks the bosses take too long. That's not the only problem. There's so many problems. The hard mode bosses just do way too much damage. And normal mode is just like, you go to normal mode, and it's like, hey, it's not even difficult. So, difficulty balancing is, like, thrown out the window for this game. And, um... I'm already expecting comments like, Oh, you're supposed to grind missions. Uh, they expect you to do missions time and time again. Which I think Crisis Core actually does, like... That's how the game is designed. It's designed in a way where you're supposed to do, like, the 300 missions throughout the game. But, like, that's boring. Doing some throughout the game is good. Like, I agree with that mentality. But, like... There are 300 missions, dude. If you're expecting the player to do, like, most of the missions before moving on the story some, then that's just really boring. The missions should be there to, like, be done if you want to. If the game is designed in a way where it's like, hey, if you don't do the missions, you're screwed, then... Which it kind of is in some departments. Angio Penance is, like, the first wake-up call for that. Then that's just, like, really bad. So the length is not the only problem. <laughs> it's just the damage is too much. They do so much damage. They do so much damage and also... I could have definitely gotten the zero. They do so much damage and... Stun locking is a big factor in this game. Which... Especially when he summons enemies. Which I hate when bosses summon enemies. And like they summon endless. I should be more specific. I don't hate when bosses summon enemies. I hate when they summon endless enemies. And that's what Genesis Avatar basically does. So it's like an endurance test. And if you get like stuck by another enemy or stuck on a wall, you get stun locked. It's just, it's just not fun. Come on, Genesis. Yeah, I think Crisis Core's combat does start to get samey as well. Especially in the PSP it did. And this game, again, they do a bit better at trying. Alright, Buster Sword I should be using more. I'll, I'll take the L on that, but... I don't think that would remedy all my issues. I don't know, Crisis Core's combat is... This game's combat is still a lot better, but it does get worse the more you play, and it just gets, like, less interesting when you realize that, like, how the bosses are designed. It's mostly the bosses and how enemies are designed, not so much the combat itself, because the combat is still, like, in theory... In theory, the combat is, like, good. But when you run into an annoying boss or like annoying patterns or get one-shotted, which happens a lot, especially on hard mode, then it kind of makes you think like, oh, is this game really that fun? Like the combat's fun, but some of the bosses are just lame and bad. And they take a while, so there's that too. Brace yourself. I should be using the Buster Sword thing more. But again, X and Square is just such a weird button. <laughs> that's why I haven't thought about it, but... I will take the L on that. Because that's something I should be using more in the game, but... It's not gonna... Suddenly make me change my mind on everything I said. Come on, Genesis. Come on. And I have to reiterate this. I don't hate Crisis Core. I still think this game is good. Probably. Yeah, I said... I like the original. I think I said the original was like... I think I gave it like a 6 out of 10. I almost want to give this one a 7 out of 10, but... 
Now, I probably would give it a 7 out of 10 because the combat is a lot more fluid and the original was a lot more frustrating. It's for days. Anyway, I don't want to talk anymore because my review is going to seem pointless. At least Genesis isn't healing that much. That's definitely a good thing. Missions don't add a lot to the story. I mean, yeah, but that, that doesn't really have anything to do with the game being boring and bad. That's a that's a different thing entirely. Which I don't really mind that they don't. That's not really a problem for me. Come on. They are optional. Genesis, please. Genesis, please. You're, you're, you're dead, Genesis. No, buy now, buy now. Dude, I hate this button input. This Buster Sword button input is annoying. I hate it. Die, Genesis. You're done. Feels right we killed him with the Buster Sword. Shinra attacked us. Save your strength. I got some help from him over there. It's you. Director! <laughs> he 
seek you. Okay, let's eat. Sorry I'm not the real thing, but... Is it good? Uh, yeah. The gift of the goddess. This apple? Geo. The dream came true. How are you? I wish I knew where you were. It's already been four years now. This is the 89th letter that I've sent to you. But I don't even know where to send them anymore. Four years? That's wild! I forgot it was that long! I hope that this final letter that I'm writing gets to you. Dude, I forgot about that. That's insane are selling very well they make everyone so happy thanks to you Zach Aerith so that would mean we're three years before Four the years. start of FF7 what do you mean final You're gonna make it too. You got that? It's not like he, he's one of the most iconic FF protagonists. This must be an important matter if they are sending the two of us. <laughs> Apparently the subject will become our brother. Is that so? But will he accept his fate willingly? And Jill? Can't tell it's a soldier. That's all we know. Even if the morrow is barren of promises, nothing shall forestall my return
To become the dew that quenches the land. To spare the sands, the seas, the skies. I offer thee this silent sacrifice. Sisne! The army's mobilizing. Find the targets before they do. Understood. The army won't be as subtle. I want them alive. You hear me? You're going to save Zack's life. Of course. I haven't even told him my real name. Help them. Sisne, I have letters for Zack. 88 of them. I'm just kidding. You know I wouldn't do that to you. We're friends, right? Probably ring some bells for the ending of FF7 Remake. They can't be serious. There's no way we're gonna find two needles in a haystack this size. There's no mission that's impossible for the Turks, yeah, yeah. Huh. Also, Sung apparently has something to give him. Who? A target? Mm. So we're couriers now. Delivering packages to fugitives, huh? Reno, <laughs> rude, static. We got nothing. You? Likewise. I'm heading to point two three five. You two take point one two zero. Roger. All right, let's get going. That's a lot of Shimra guys. They all fall in one slash, so we just need to have Zack do like a thousand slashes. Boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. Hey, it's the name of the uh, OST that plays. Embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your honor. As soldier, come and get it. Activating combat. Oh yeah, this is a playable bit. Yeah, Price of Freedom right here is what this track is called. Ow. It's like we're doing those missions where we have to like kill like 500 to a thousand of these shimmer guys. Ow. So many of these guys. So much fire though. Gotta spam it. So we got these helicopters like shooting their missiles every now and then.
this thing. There's a present. So, open your purses. Where's the mobile? Ready to go. Understand now why Sephiroth took the S. So get away safely. Zack, I gotta go. Yeah, we gotta, like, let this, uh, we gotta, like, let the DMW do its stuff. So we kind of just gotta stall for this battle. Burn. I think I can't die for this. There's no way that's just doing one damage to me. Cloud Angeal and Aerith. Or no, yeah, Cloud Angeal and Aerith. I just said their names like in a different order than they showed me them. Oh, goodbye. 